Hi, this is Sol with MyWorks, and in this call, I'm going to show you MyWorks Sync in action. We're going to start right here from our order push page where we have the option to sync our past orders or historical data. Um, this is one of the ways that we suggest that our users test MyWorks so that they can sync one or two orders over to QuickBooks, take a look at how they look based on the settings that they configured, and then they can make any kind of adjustments that they'd like to their settings in order to make sure that that invoice or sales receipt showing in QuickBooks looks exactly as you want it to. So we're going to start here by just selecting one of our orders and pushing it over to QuickBooks. You'll see this box that shows us the progress. I can see here that the order push is complete. And now that I close it, I'm going to go back over to my invoices tab in QuickBooks. As you can see right now, it's empty. Once I reload the page, you will be able to see that order that I just synced over. There it is. Now we will click to view it. And I'll also pull up that order in WooCommerce so that we can compare them side by side. That was my order number 85. Here you can see order 85 in WooCommerce. So let's start from the top. Um, you can see the billing address information here, the name. If we go over to QuickBooks, you'll be able to see that billing address in the billing address field and also the shipping address. I can see the invoice date, the invoice due date, and also the customer's email, which is my email. Here, I can also see the product or the service, the SKU number, the description, and the quantity information. Uh, also the rate and the total amount. And I can also see the class. Now, this is actually coming over from our mapping, which is created over here. I'm going to pull this tab open for you. We go over to our product mapping, which is actually the page where we map existing WooCommerce data to existing QuickBooks data. This is usually done for our products and customers. So here it is. This is my watch in WooCommerce, as you can see under the WooCommerce product column. And here is its corresponding product in QuickBooks. In QuickBooks, it's also named the watch. Um, but you can see here in our mapping that the names don't have to be exactly the same for mapping. In fact, I could have a customer facing WooCommerce product name such as WooCommerce t-shirt. And then in QuickBooks, I could have a completely different number like cool new battery. Clearly not the same product, but you can tell, you can kind of understand this way how simple and customizable and just flexible our mapping is. So let's go back over here to the invoice. I can see my subtotal here and then the total due. Next, if there were any messages or details to sync, those could be synced over in this field. And again, this is an invoice because we chose to sync this as an invoice. If we go over back to our MyWork settings, we can change the way that we're syncing our orders from invoice to sales receipt, for example. So I'll show you where we do this in the order settings. You can choose to sync it as a sales receipt. We will save this. Rock on. Now, when we go over to our push page, our order is going to sync to QuickBooks as a sales receipt. Let's try this order right here by Natalie Martinez. And I want you to keep in mind as we're going over this that this manual push is an alternative to the automatic sync. Usually once you finish configuring MyWorks, all new orders will start syncing automatically. All right, so we're going to exit out of this invoice. And then we can go back and find all of our sales. And we can see that sales receipt from Natalie Martinez. And you can see the, the status is paid because she paid through a online WooCommerce payment gateway. 
So let's click and view the details. Again, you can see the customer name, the customer email address, the billing address, where it's shipping. Um, the ship via would also be entered in here if you are choosing to, to sync your ship via. Here we can also see our products and services. Um, this product is called testing, clearly. And that's also going to, it has that name because we mapped WooCommerce products to our QuickBooks product called testing. And what's important to understand with the mapping is that you can have your WooCommerce product and you connect it to its corresponding QuickBooks product, which actually is then already configured with all of the sales and income and cost of goods sold accounts, which are important for you to be able to pull very accurate reports of your sales. So here you can see that we have those testing products. So back over to our sales receipt, I just want to really remind you that you can completely customize how this looks in, in your QuickBooks. And that's why we have all of these different pages of settings that you can use to configure your ideal sync settings. We don't usually show the WooCommerce side of things because it's just so different based on the settings. So again, you can choose even your format, invoice, sales receipt, or estimate. This is if you're syncing to QuickBooks Online. Those are the options you have. But yet you have all of these additional options. So a full page of options just for your order sync settings. So if you have any questions or you'd like to discuss your specific scenarios, get in touch with us. We're always happy to jump on a demo call with you. Bye for now.